guys welcome back number the one love we number the one love we man my name is what called kabala van evan tv um and ramuzika i'm a producer uh, i make uh i make beats i produce uh, um, i'm a content creator yeah a lot of bunch of shit man so i run in this on tv right now uh nene and diva nene msi wana wada anjelele um yeah Westside. So yeah, man. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back to the Music Express. And when it's it's a back. Not here. for the first time. I really, really, really appreciate all of you. When you know, when I video, and then when you know, you turn to subscribe. Now when you turn, you know, you just more like, cause you gotta like, guys. You gotta like this content. So yeah, man. Um, let's get to it. Twenty nine minutes. I'm just like finger. As you can see, that um, I seem like a very busy person. <laughs> what does a busy person look like? But anyways, um, let's get to it. Welcome to the Music Express now at Co. Um, yeah, man. So now I'm sending you Just a few topics. Just a few topics. Interesting ones. Well, to me, I don't know who revealed when it was the one in but yeah. Um, then Una Rine, um, he spoke about something on Facebook and later deleted it. We'll get to it. And then Rdambanga Mizofil, Namsi, in the Korkode video. And the Bedea Mizofil. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure when you're going to watch this. I doubt you'll watch it today. So, by the time Nichi Wona he died, King, happy birthday. Uh, 1986 is the song of the day. Rever Kutamba 1986, Nalibuani. Shout out to the king. So the manana ngamizo feel there's some few things that I just wanna talk about, and also yeah, there's a new artist, guys. Nenda some TV, but we were going to some TV. I didn't know who she was, uh, Taylor. Yeah, I don't know if you know her, but if you don't, we're gonna talk about her as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Is nera don but yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to um to the first one so yeah um i don't know where when you diva una rinena una rinena is one of the van rap artists i don't know if he uh, identifies as a van rap artist marandi mungo wa vaimbi wa venda uh una rinena i can't remember his surname but i think he uses his real name as a stage name so yeah shout out to him so this other day i posted uh, something on facebook i can't remember when was it i think it was weeks back weeks back maybe like two weeks back as I'm recording this, so yeah, he was like, No, man, um, why ask Bukiwa? Um, why ask Bukiwa? That was his status. But why when is Gubuka Unarine? Like, why are you guys not booking him? So, yeah, I just had to, like, I had my thoughts, you know, um, people also had their own thoughts, you could comment that way, but he later deleted the post. I don't know what happened because. A lot of people were trying to reach out and trying to figure it out with him and help him out. I feel like even me, this is um, probably me trying to, you know, trying to help out. Maybe I can help out or maybe I can make it worse. I don't know. My intentions are this at least I want to see him win. So, yeah, I just want to say my few cents. And also, in my last video, we were in some booths. We were in constructive criticism. We were in some tall chairs. We hardcore. Sound I could have para I could have para sharp. It was a little bit low. I don't know what happened with the go converter video and it really dropped the volume. So yeah, then we delete and then post it. But hey guys, that is good dura, eh? Hey, it's good dura. So I already need to be sharp. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, more reason for you to listen to it when you're alone. Go reason and come as one. It really requires you to you you to pay attention. You get so yeah. Um, I'm I'm sorry about that though, guys. For for that, but I thought um, because we spoke about constructive criticism or the Rico, me do kono utrama utre na nyana ngadne ura maratko soundu. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, but my apologies for that on behalf of my team, which is me. <laughs> I'd call it me. But yeah, man, shout out to that. So Unarina, I remember Unarina. I post a status on Facebook. I could be sorry. No, man. Why is it that the promoters as good to some people are already among favorites? He's one of the favorites. So I just thought maybe I should share my opinion and everything um, about this whole situation. So we are on board. Unarina, I'm If you really know him, 
but if you don't know him it's fine after this video you you can go check him out oh very music uh very beautiful music and uh, he's he's quite um he's quite a good producer eh? like one another thing about him he's very good he's a very good producer i don't know i think he also made beats uh, but I'm not hundred percent sure on the government because we've got a no nine because I'm not very sure. But I think he is uh white and the instrumentals. So yeah, shout out to him. Marayela post on the delete. I don't know why. I don't know if somebody maybe in the team or my advisor and told him that nah, that's not the way to go about it, or he just felt that it wasn't really a post. We're not going to post. to post. Then when you go to spark a conversation, but it's not a long-term type of post maybe it was just a temporary post or just a thought he had in his mind or oh, hey, amen why in this go boogie in fact like for real like i'm in martial nation and the band in a miso unazi hit to blind a miso i think the first time i was introduced to una rena was by the song called venda wave old song i think it was it dropped in 2020 maronda video ya on a very beautiful song he's been making bangers this guy and uh, he hasn't stopped no one oh this a panda and they uh, but uh, it's concerning it shows that it's concerning for him because he's really putting in the work man i feel like he really does deserve worry i would say and it's promoters the vendor why exactly are you not booking him yeah whatever but anyways <coughs> let me share my thoughts on on, on this whole uh, whole thing first of all i don't know or manager um I think you must also look at that as well because I feel like manager is somebody that as a brand, as a business, you know, when I would ever come push, I quit on one of the gigi. Now, since the promoters, this is that kind of like the, the manager can go there on your behalf to actually negotiate some deals. You know, and uh, I think a lot of artists also, they need to, uh, even me, I don't know how to do it, but to how to value yourself. You know, when I would value or in a source of artist, in a source, you know, producer music, what would they, how how much value do you do you do you put um in your music and going to worry um what's your music worth what's your performance worth no one got in the zone is only to raise the riches and the promoters is the receiver the invoices no one or time we are in the icon and you because like maybe the value and like what you're giving the people and what you value yourself is not what they really think about um in going to like it how and that you don't deserve that much money in Gongana, for example. So they might be like, okay, let's go find two cheaper artists for that price. And then when you, when you these and Gongana. So it's that thing of the type of music in Nakubafa, the production, maybe the performances. Are you performing? Do people see you performing? Uh, maybe try, or as I mean, like, we don't have the performance. Because sometimes I feel like if you're not being booked, we live in a very digital world. You can just go and do a show online. You know, wanna, like, I mean, me sitting like this, the chill up on the camera, and all that in front of the mic. I can do like a, like a full session, acoustic session, I don't know, something like that. The green bar, and go perform. So that people can see that I'm actually quite interesting than I am probably in my music. Maybe in the music, they don't see the character itself, but through your performances and music video, they can actually see, ah, oh, damn, man, this guy is very good, and we, we need to, to have him. But let's get to the, to the part of uh, let me constructively criticize or maybe where the problem might be it may not be there but it, i can tell you for sure it's part of the problem uh unarine i think he will identify as an afrobeats artist he makes a lot of afrobeats music uh, a lot of his music is afrobeats i was very shocked fizina what's this other guy but one day what drop a collab tape uh and then uh, those are the, the it was very Afrobeat. No one. Unarin is the type of artist when he should first come in mind or a damn man. Why don't we get Unarin on the song and actually, you know, he do his thing? No one. But I think he when I get to the Afrobeat part, Afrobeats, if you know Afrobeats, Afrobeats is not originally from here. It's I think I don't I'm not sure. I think it's a Nigerian it's a Nigerian uh genre. So, um I may be wrong to to them Nigerian niggas that may think that uh, maybe Thomas Yabo would do it somewhere. Seems like Nigerians be stealing generous, they wanna steal piano as well. So yeah, maybe that's another thing. Or 
ah, the genre, man. You know, like re mafene aven rap, and also when you talk about promoters, it's in book. I think about the people that go to those gigs of those those promoters are actually promoting or actually putting together. And going on, or any fan base, yano, does it fit in into what they are looking for? Because Afrobeats is quite a very international genre, and then going on, or itangwe mutwa venda. I mean, there's a lot of Afrobeats artists, you know, and unless you're really bringing something very, very special and different and unique into your craft, that's where I can say maybe you could stand out, maybe trying to stand out, but I don't think you can stand out in Kuzama or ni ride a wave, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Afro beats as is. You can write the beats. I really uh, listened to this project. They did some Afro beats type of thing. I think Fizi was producing an beat is an Afro beat. So you could tell that the vibe, my friend, I vibe Afro beats. But the problem is uh, the execution of it. You know, not everybody can perfect it. But I mean, Unarin has been at this for a long time, and I think Daman, not even I think Dimven the Daman. So what I was saying that maybe instead of doing Afro beats, Nkwe very Nkwe shrimps and the accent that that this Nigerian niggas. Do it in your own language, dog. You're Venda. Be proud of the the fact that you are Venda. Ngore, if you are you you are really bringing Lagos to Venda. Ah man, you can't bring o o o o o o o o jalof here. You know we have our own beautiful language and our own beautiful culture. And I read when the promoters that actually, you know, click with you and actually book you because that's what you need. That's what you want most. So you relate more to the people that go to these gigs. Whatever fit we have, we have I'm just making an example. We have Guzba, we have Kidu, probably we have Mizo. And if you listen to those guys, the market, the type of market, we never have a good target. One, don't allow we have vend. We have vend rap music. You can mix. You can mix the other things, but don't really base your entire music on um. You don't wanna worry. Uh, if, uh, if, if it sounded like very Nigerian, we don't want to hear that Nigerian shit, man. I mean, no, no offense or anything, and no, 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 no disrespect to what you, what, what Unarene is doing. But I don't think it's gonna work because already, unless you go, I go, I go target Afro beats fans because they are there and they're a lot. So he can do that. He can follow the Afro beats guys and do what they're doing and replicate their movement and see how it goes. But seeing how it's going right now, it's not going as as as, as he also probably expected because the bookings are the colder and all that. So it's also time to to, 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 to to tweak a little bit your sound. There's nothing wrong with your sound. It's just the language. I feel like the language as well. Make Afro beats beautiful. Gandrej Venda. You're bringing a lot of flavor. There's not a lot of them that are doing Afrobeats the way you do it. You understand Afrobeats more than a lot of them. You can even hear them. Uri. They're trying to bring that vendor flavor because uh, Afrobeats is, 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 as a genre, is good as it is. But we have Venrap. We have not Venrap, but Why not mix that? You bring something different to the market, to the Afrobeats. And then you may create your own lane. Now on that lane, you are alone. Because I haven't heard a lot of people. People are riding the wave now of Afrobeats. Especially Venda. But I feel like has a step uh, he's a, he's a step ahead of a lot of niggas. Mara, maybe the language part is the reason why he's not actually breaking through. I don't think he's a small artist. I mean, he's bigger than me. But I feel like the sound itself is limiting him. Gori, I go gonna bring us something new. People hear this shit, man. There's a lot of Afrobeats artists. Oh, oh, you know, we always hear these guys everywhere in radio, all that. We've been a boy, we're Rema. Rema is even performing in South Africa, and shout out to that. You know, this Afrobeats love South Africa. And the Uvadas, Damani, and the Unimvenda. People love Chivenda. Look how big Makazi is in all of these African countries. Bigger than most of these Afrobeats niggas. So you have a very beautiful language. I, I, I really feel like you should tap into all the say to your advantage because you're very good at it. I was hearing his his recent song, man. I, sh- I forgot its name. That's what you need to do, nigga. It's a... Uh, let me check it, man. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna check the song because, like, 
he's he, i feel like he gets it he gets it it's just that i, I feel like maybe you know when you want to team you need different people that's why your manager is very important gori manager one ndi nana the dori at least you need explore also with your sound if something is not working you can you can you can make it work no one wanna you can make it work you can make it you can make it um you can make it uh, sorry guys i'm just talking about this not distract me you to say that a track in on a record i listened to it i think two days back i can't remember its title it's a new song uh, it's a new song afrobeat uh, but akwimba nga jivenda yes if you don't rumiwa it's a new song by the time i'm recording this you blow my couple of 400 views it's a very nice song i feel like that's what he needs to do more because that's what you can see or my fan they love that shit they love it i mean you can still do your nigerian thing if you want i think all ojo ojo leo it's ojo leo and amizuka it was written eh? shout out to that song i told you guys in my previous video it's my favorite song it's an Afrobeat type of song. Mizo ago to the young Javenda, ago to the Javenda da ela trake, and it sounded beautiful. No one, ago to the Javenda. Na una ri ne kimi na Javenda, and it was beautiful until certain things you couldn't hear. I, I mean, we don't even understand some of the things. I don't even know what Ojolewa means. No one, but I love the song. So I'm saying like any vibe and rumiwa he must keep it up no one he must keep it up on his craft no one if 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 tamwe chivenda chichi mtu chichi mu batula nyana wa wa jena wa jena na kantoni wa jena na ka ah i mean i know ghost writing is a thing i mean there's a lot of people that write very beautiful music and that's another thing about uh that people don't realize the fact that unaba tuwa neba kono rapa mara wa kono imba unaba tuwa no kono imba wasa kono rapa no one what that doesn't make sense. Repeat, re- rewind, rewind. I scripted there, but you were kwamba. Unava tuvo no kono mwara. There are good writers who can sing or rap, and then there are people that can rap or sing but can't write. You 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 get the difference. So ara ringo for ni niya kona blindu imba, which unari in this case knows, and maybe it's lacking on the lyric part. I don't know. Maybe he is. If he is. He, Marshall Nation has a lot of good songwriters. Bana Mizo, Bana Bujer player, Bana Osong Fini. I don't know the other niggas. Um, I don't know them other niggas, but there's quite enough to, you know, if you really need lyrics in that event. Maybe he doesn't, because there are people, I mean, Nandi so, Nandi Stomo, Repale, Nandi Baro, Nwana lyric in that event. That's a devil with the Romini. That's why you find that most of my old songs, they were very amateur event rap. Nwana like, yeah, mini, mini, mini. It's so basic. It's like elementary school type of thing. And no hate on myself. I'm just being honest. It's not as easy as people think. So, approach some of the artists. I'm going this track. Ghost. Ghost for artists. I don't know ghost for some artists, you know. Um, but it's the thing of... You know, there are people that know how to do certain things, but don't know how to do certain things. No one. So you must know what you're good at and what you're not good at. But shout out to Unarina, man. I really feel bad the fact that Bafitoma Mubuki, because he's so good, man. And a lot of his fans, they're so loyal and he's so humble. I'm involved in this industry, BS and all that. So I really wish him the best, man. I really, I hope what I said will really help out. Because I'm telling you, man, he's good. He just needs to relate more to the people when never quite gigini and all that but he has everything he has everything the production the quality he has the consistency and apparently he's dropping this tape called uh if you mean any tape uh many many to logos ne? bringing uh I, I don't know if they are bringing venda to logos man no you don't need to bring Ven- logos to venda if you mean I'll be building what? It's called Oh Lagos in Venda. Lagos in Venda. Yeah, he's dropping an album called La- Lagos in Venda. Yeah, man, we don't need this this Lagos in Venda, man. We need Venda in Lagos. Ngongona, this is never got the zone. Or rekai seve ichi chivenda chashu achi se Lagos. Have a lot of for beats. They will put some respect on his name because chivenda is a very powerful language. So yeah, he said he's gonna drop it. He was supposed to drop it in November. I don't know what happened. Maybe he's still working on it. So umu din issue a statement a kambori. I'll be releasing my full album titled Venda in Lagos um, in 2024. 
I'll be done building Lagos here in Venda. The sound, meal style, language. Language. I like the fact that he included language. Language must be Venda. And um, it's going to drop somewhere in February 2024. So apparently it was Banana Sound Lucid. Sound Lucid. Yeah, Sound Lucid is quite good. I've seen him also in some productions. Zabo, JR Play and all that. He's quite good. Eh. Yeah. He's quite good. He's quite good. And shout out to him, man. I, I hope it works out. Yeah. And I hope Udo, 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 Kolaba na Majita Ayani. Kalkakaka, Wadungabu Remzi, WJR Player. Who else I feel like could hop? Asati. I think Asati can also hop into that shit. Nizofil. I think he can hop into that shit. I think Nabatondi. Yeah, yeah he, he gives me that vibe. Namina Nafizi. Who else I feel like he can also be on that project? Awesome thing was going on. You can also, he's your boy. You can, you can bring him in yeah but yeah that's 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 what i just had to say that yeah man shout out to him and i hope everything works out for him and yeah do you think i'm right do you think it's that's the case or the promoters have been that's good because i mean like martial nation now majita manja martial nation they're not getting booked as much yeah shout out to jr play i think he's one of the most booked commercial nation na mizo feel and uh but i think for mizo feel it's mostly the maybe they can't afford his fee because no for fee i could charge uh, how much twenty five thousand royal garden so for sure kazi club uh, 10 or 15 or i don't know i don't know i've never booked him but but a lot of them are not being booked so i don't know who's managing them as well i think he Baxi is the one who was man who's managing me i don't know if he's managing all of them but yeah man whoever is managing una i feel like they really need to go hard on working because he's good man you don't have to worry about it. a lot of things He's good. He's good. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Do tell me what you think about uh my my take on 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 the whole situation in Air Queen for uh, um <coughs> Unarin. Talking about Marshall Nation also. Today's Mizo Phil's birthday. Talk about it at the start. I don't know how old he's turning. Nineteen eighty six. Hey, Mizo the man, wait, wait. Hey, in the hot man, well, I'm to end it. Hey, 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 in the in the in the hot, this was straight. Nineteen eighty six. So yeah, I'll be playing nineteen eight nine nineteen eighty six. I'll be streaming the hell out of it just to celebrate me so feel and everyone in a way. We need to watch a video. So go and read it. And I'm see obviously by the time you might see this, uh, the birthday do I not focus, but still give him a shout out and tell him that you love him. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Talking about me, so. Uh, but we are October first. Baba kugungura. Okay, I don't know the boy ya. We can't even sing boy ya. We kugungura. All of them had different takes on the event. Uh, but a lot of people baba kuri so was made the show fail. I don't know how he made you to repent pende fade, which is the first annual music festival. Yeah, you host on a nation. Yeah, the turnout was low. I'm sure when Gunjabi and Yazdi were turned out here on it, I got over that solid. But I don't think it was as bad for a first annual show. I don't know. Maybe Mizo or Diva or it's bad. Because I also saw a post, Ikwambanga, the festival. Guys, you know who hosts the festival? And the Batubanji, you know, criticize a body. Uri, the project or the festival, they were not a success. And then make a fun and all that and laughing about it. Guys, it's not easy to create a, a, a festival, especially a stadium festival. It's very big. It's a big venue. The security, the stage, the lighting, the sound, the gate, the tickets, the promotion. It's not easy, that thing. And there a lot of people that have created big events have made losses in those big events. So definitely, I will miss a weight loss. I do wait a lot. So not you want to stage each other, but not you like it was epic. It was nice. I think it was even nicer than the Royal Garden one. That's me. That's me, man. Fuck Royal Garden, man. <laughs> well, fuck that event, man. But yeah, Panda Panda was 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 not as how people expected, especially the turnout. But the event itself, Monamua, the show was fine. Uh, the, 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 the artists, the, 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 the performer, most of them performed on time. Uh, I think Rootkid is one person. Again, Rootkid, I think his performance was pushed back. 
I don't know why they keep doing this to to, to root kid, man. Root kid, the root from a royal, to to pass, and then to 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 shit, to 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 royal, to one, to one is angry. No, 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 no. But I'm not scared of it. But yeah, man, he also performed anyways. I think he performed on Madawi Chado. He performed too much. Now DJ T Rando, I want to go perform. I feel he performed. Most of the performances feel over on. I think Timon Gavini and I he performed. It was a nice show for people that went. The sequencing and everything. The show was proper. It was proper, proper, proper. I wasn't there, so it's this is based on what I saw on the internet and what I also saw from the pictures and from the reviews from the people. A lot of people had different opinions. I think Nabo Kings, one of the promoters of the guide. I don't know how to pronounce that nigga's name. Shout out to the guide. He does reactions on YouTube. Shout out to you, my nigga. He also did his own reaction on why he thinks the the show should failed or didn't go as planned. But guys, no matter how many people come, don't worry. Channel play my music. We have festival as long as No matter how many people showed up, we have festival as long as And that show was promoted, ne? And people still didn't buy the tickets. People are saying the ticket price was a little bit high. I'm telling you, it is not the case. But to buy a ticket here, two hundred, the car. If they see the value in it, no one people will pay. Maybe people didn't see the value. To say people didn't buy because of the price, no, 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 no. People can buy any ticket price, man. And uh, yeah, it, it's also a valid point where the price is how much I invest. But I mean, guys, but no, no, I can't show. It's not about the ticket. It's about one thousand. No one knows. You know, you know, Cape Town. We go to I don't know what it's called. Some club there. In as package, yeah, man, hundreds of thousands. People pay those things to go there. No one or I don't know line up, but the tables are sold out. People, if if you sell your event enough. And people see value in that event. It doesn't matter who's on stage. It doesn't matter who it is. I mean, Royal Garden was was also packed. I don't know. It may be subjective. Maria Yodara, because people know Royal Garden is an annual event. So yeah, going to the second annual one, going, 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 going. It's a good issue. And I think they need to start promoting as early as possible because we want to turn out to Yoba Low. And they are good. They must never question or show you how to plan as well. They can blame the promotion team and say maybe they didn't do a good enough job because I think Marshall can afford to, to do promotions. He has enough money that next. So I don't think the problem was money. It was probably the execution of the plan that was improper. So guys, don't laugh at this thing. And it has nothing to do with Mizo. Mizo did his best. In fact, what was and it probably came there because of Mizo. Because it was coming right after a pende pende royal garden, ngongana. So this is the kamba zone, guys. Are we are we careful? Mizo is our guy, and uh, um, we need to protect him. We can't. Happy birthday, King. Don't so much attend our job. My fit one, one hater. You did your best, and your team did the best. That stage, proper. Oh, that stage was good, man. Nana nendo ndia plan as event. Okay, not now. I don't plan them anymore. But back then in my university days, yeah, I, I used to I used to organize events. Nandi chivandi kazi SRC and all that. I f- I know the stress of hosting these big shows. No one. I know the stress of hosting club shows as well. So don't laugh. Don't laugh, guys. Nisonga nisonga zayango rizuya kondo it is lost and the people make losses there. No one. So please, guys, uh, not Kamiz, please. So, but yeah, do tell me, do you think it was a success? Do you think it was a fail? I don't think it was a fail. Yeah, the turn up wasn't as how they expected, but for the first show, I think they did their best. I don't think they made money, though. And I don't think they did enough promotion for what I'm sure they can afford. If they can afford a stage like that, they could have afforded it. So reach out to the promoters outside, it's the social media influencer, see, and uh, this thing of just booking the artist, it also book industry personalities. So never to one ever towards the personalities. They don't do anything. They just they won't be can ever. They are just people that are necessary for the movement, for the for the game. Because they are important for what they do. And what they do is they're good at what they do. So respect their craft. We prince and ever miswaso and all that. And th- talking about Prince or Miswaso, I don't want to post to Prince. Prince with the oil. I don't know if he's doing AI or he's doing them himself. If he's doing himself. He did one of my cards. And then my cards, I, I, I comment, hey, man, I, I didn't, I was like, nah, 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 nah. Why, 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 why? 
Aku amba uri stop making money from my face. I think that guy created Prince wa Miswasa. I don't know if you are a but in am Prince wa Miswasa uita ingwe ingwe portrait ya makazi and all that. Yaku advertise uri watu wanga the vitamin and then makazi yo show my. That's her account. That is her account. I think it's her personal account that she uses and not the page. Yeah, you never verified. The other one called makazi yo show my. Queen, no man, you can't do that. I just wanted to just say no, 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 Queen, no, 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 no. That was not the right way to do it. And uh, I mean, we, all of us have our own opinions. Maybe you have your own facts. No one, or tell me to me, you more advice or no, no, no. This is not right. Whatever. But whatever they, if they advised you that they were wrong, and you must fire those people. Worry, no ways. I don't think Prince Wamiso so meant it in that way. And uh, it's a man, a man. It doesn't make sense. Why I or react again there? But I don't know, man. I don't know the behind the scenes. Maybe for real, she's right. I don't know. Maybe the guy was making money out of her face. I don't know. Mara, I don't think the response was professional. And for somebody that people look up to, Mwana Nambure, Makazi also Nambure. She's not that old. I mean, she's twenty-seven years old. She's 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 roughly our age. She's not really that old. So maybe some of the things come from that. The fact that that youngness or that youthfulness comes out sometimes. Maybe that's, she didn't mean any harm. Maybe she was joking. Because it seems like somebody, I mean, she plays around. So yeah, she likes playing a lot. <laughs> so yeah, man, I don't think Queen, your response was proper, man. I, 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 I don't think Prince meant it like that. And shout out to Prince, man. You can use my face, bro. You can use my face. You can do, you can do whatever you want to do. But yeah, man, shout out to him. Proper work. Do go check him out, man. I feel like he's really pushing, you know. And he pushes naka TikTok. When they want content, it's on TikTok. It's some of his his pranks. Yeah. Those type of things. Shout out to him. So yeah, man, that's that's just that on 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 that. Let's go on. You know, Randy Varazui. Now we need to manage to check. Gore, eh, we got them fun. Ray Varazui. Arivari, arivari, arivari. Er kutoma arpetsenga Taylor. So I don't know if you guys know who Taylor is. So Taylor is a twenty. She's twenty one years old. Yo, this girl everywhere, Majita. She's trending. She's doing crazy numbers. Watchata naka billboard. So basically, this girl, um, she just went or chatted ka billboard one hundred. So billboard one hundred. Um, how can I explain billboard one hundred? So these are the most streamed song for a specific period, like a week. For that week, there was this amount of streams, and then I think billboard two hundred is overall. I don't know if they do a whole month. Yeah, I think I explained the whole thing on God's billboard and all that in one of my videos. The but it says and they pop up because I really did it. So go check it. If I if if I get it, I'll plug you up there. So yeah, she's making his string. I'm gonna try it. He'll if he water. Make me maybe harder. I think it's a sick song, eh? Hey, come to think of it. Don't go, 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 So, yeah, man. That's the channel of the Billboard 100, man. She was the first female, I think. Was she the first female? Women are my cover. I won't go be a vagina. But, yeah, it's saying that she's the first female since, uh, let me check, 1968. The first artist to ever chart after the first one was... Uh, I think they call it, let me just get the name, Grazing in the Grass by Yuji Masekela, which dropped 55 years ago. So this is epic for South African Ama Piano, for South African artists, for African artists. This 21-year-old just chatted, Kabil board 100. Number how many big artists have you ever had? Number AKA, they've never done that. She did that. And I think she's colored as well. So, yeah, you shout out to Taylor. And I think her song is doing like 70 million streams on Spotify alone. No one has 70, approaching, approaching 70 million. One million. Okay. It's, it's none of my business that fell. 70 million streams because Spotify 
and it's still ranking a lot of engagement na kazi tiktok or it's getting a lot of videos they're doing i think there's a challenge or something kabi uno na china china nyeni so ko ya ni china china ni support tyler and we want to not tell i see you tyler we feel tyler fit um yeah and uh, i think she's at 14 million subscribers right now you have not 14 million subscribers 14 million listeners on spotify and yeah Kireya when did you check and you tomorrow about 2019 ning and with track I think they called the track uh what is it let me check the name of that song getting late yeah getting late if you check that song as i'm recording this it's on 5 million it might be higher by the time because she's making the numbers just keep going 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 because she was on 10 million listeners just last week and now she's already on 14 approaching 15 no one so it's she's doing she's doing she's doing epic numbers she's doing epic numbers so yeah i don't need you to do tell me what you think about her career but yeah i just want to say just want to have my take no one and then didn't take young like i just want to have a take on what i think about this whole situation because make g also shout out to make g make g also spoke about some some few things and yeah it sort of makes sense because none do we under post and i when i first found out about her i didn't know who she was i just saw her trending and then the show but manji it was the same thing for them cuz we just saw her trending like this girl called taylor is breaking records or whatever i mean the last time i heard something like this was by with elaine and look what they did to her career they destroyed it so i'm worried on her behalf as well i hope the people near her but the mumpusha shop who they won't mess up her career cuz definitely she's going international now she's going to leave the south african shit cuz she was also featured in the album ya skyri ofin ofis guy walker ola ola ngana nyana wimba daba daba eh o mu fichara um which makes sense i think it's on brand she water is about six i think na yena sky walker they could make serious bangers so eh tailor the fichara sky walker on piano And yeah she's 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 good man I think she's worked on Maporisa Maporisa showed a lot of love to her Kabza I think he probably shows love to her she started in 2019 you know so she's been in the game but so was don't get it confused she's been in the game just that water just blew up it was not the first biggest song she had she has other big songs so you should go check out this the platforms out the music you will see that she's been big you know not that big but she got in a in a short amount of time i think what are your drop of july and then just in september just went crazy to just show it as an artist that one song can change your entire life so we underestimate just one day at cook can have 63 subscribers oh, sorry I'm sorry about that i can have 63 subscribers and then next thing and go join again 100000 no one that's how the that's the beauty of music and also being um independent i think it's it's also beautiful cuz we goes by over one of the trend and now gospel went from 0 to 100 very quick from 2019 he just grafla ola le koso koyata no one so those type of things to show that career and change but it's not as easy when you're an independent artist so ndiko that cause we make jam i mean joke hambari um those numbers are cooked um and i don't think the the rest of his team agreed but i sort of got away what he was saying because i also had the same sentiments i think the first time i heard about her i was like she's giving industry plant so an industry plant for those who don't know it's like basically an artist and they create an industry to be big no one so they put all their investments in in her career or in their career promotion it's the playlist and all that and all that and all that no one it's an industry plant this person just seems like they were just created for this specific thing it's like taylor just came out of nowhere to be the biggest artist it's like the industry did all its research and its research was applied in ai or in one and on of the like no one so yeah i got what he was saying but I also think she maybe she got lucky no one I think she also got lucky but I think the numbers here yeah, there is definitely a serious push behind the career so I already know Zura po madimbo eh kana mapate ningokufonga na nini do it as what up guy 70 70 million 70 million streams overnight 
<laughs> you gotta keep listening to that go my guy worry it doesn't just happen overnight it's very difficult especially if you're an independent artist yeah, it's easy to to break out, but to get that big, it's not easy. Currently, independent artist. So Barrera, so Barrera is to Nabo Nabo Ras. Ras is arguably the most successful independent artist who has pulled it off. But I don't think those numbers are so good it overnight. Uh, so yeah, I think the industry is really supporting her, and she's getting money from these record labels, which is good for her. I don't see it as a problem, as long as her numbers are not fake. Yeah, as long as the numbers are not fake. That's all I'll say. But yeah, you shout out to Taylor. Uh, um, wishing her all the best in her new endeavors, which is being an international artist, the stress, especially being 21. Um, I hope the team is going to equip her or have a very, yeah, ready for the industry. And she must perform, you know, take piano to the world. Because... I mean, I'm a piano is the biggest song. So if next thing we go in by R&B, I'll be very hurt. I feel like South Africa is behind her. Uh, the world is behind her. I think she blew up in America first, though. Yeah, I, 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 I think she, her song blew up there first before it blew up here. That's another thing. Because even, even some of us, you know, like, we get more love outside there than here. Which is crazy, which is crazy, but yeah, shout out to Taylor Mori and Ukozita Kandreni. Like it's making sense. It's really making sense for her, and she's getting the she's getting the support and the industry behind her. So you shout out to her, and you shout out to her team, and you shout out to everybody else. Banyaba Kubona, do tell me what you think about Taylor's career. Do you know her? Do you know her music? Current some DV. Do go check her out. She's very good, good vocalist. There's really not really anything special about her. She's just like any vocalist, but I think she's a vocalist that got lucky. No one. So yeah, thank you very much for covering Mona Mona Kobona. Um, and yeah, that that was just my take on everything. Do tell me about what I spoke about Nga Unarine, Nga Mizofili, Penda and all that. And yeah, and so I'm gonna subscribe my Jita, please. Um, if you like it, do subscribe. That's the I feel like you can show appreciation like that and like so that in the pushy when you are and the in the spread the video cuz I really put in some work on this so yeah thank you very much to go need you one no te no te na bana ti ni divi na bana nda ni diva uh god bless all of you and yeah subscribe like you need a notification and the rest in your diva peace